All right, getting into some hi-hat patterns, some different hi-hat patterns here. Um, besides the whole standard, you know, what we're trying to do is incorporate the left foot hi-hat. And how do we do this? By creating different textures. For instance, I have two hi-hats set up here. I have 12-inch uh, hi-hats, mino and 14-inch uh, saving hi-hats here on my left. So you can do this if you have a right symbol over here to your right side, which everybody has, and a hi-hat. But for this uh, example, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play it on the, on the hi-hats over here so you can hear this stereo effect uh, sound. So what's going on here is this. Counting like this. What I have is an eighth note followed by two sixteenths. So I have this rhythm. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a two and a one and a two and a three and a four and a Okay? Now what I'm gonna do is add the snare drum on two and four on top of that. So I have one. standard stuff right there. Now, what we're going to do is, to make this a little funkier, what we're going to do is you're going to keep those two parts the same. Now what we're going to add is the hi-hat on the E of each note. So the E, if we subdivide the 16th note, we have one E and a. We're going to put this on the second part of the 16th note, which is the E. So it's going to be one Now what happens here is this, with that we're having a continuous 16th note flow because the first pattern we're having is one and up. In between that is the E and that's where the hi-hat, the second hi-hat on the left hand, I mean I'm sorry, on the left foot falls into place so you have one. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing, adding the hands. Now, this is where it starts getting a little tricky. With the bass drum, what we're going to do is we're going to go through all four 16th note subdivisions. So we're going to, the first measure, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play all on the downbeat. So it'll be on one, two, three, four. And then I'll repeat that again. So here it is. This is the first variation of that. So we have one. the downbeat. So if I break the feet down first, it'll be right left, 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 between the feet. And then on top of that is the ostinato. So okay. Now we're going to move into the second partial, which is the E. So if I move to the E, what's happening here is unison feet the whole time. So we're going one. Now, with my, when my left foot hits, that's when my right foot hits. So this one's pretty easy. Okay, now make sure that we have no flams here. It's not that, it's all together. Okay, so I'll do it again. One, two, 